welcome to an LJ Aikens my tutorial and today we're going to learn how to replace particles with an object any object you want actually so you're gonna start out by making your object I have a bullet right here and then you're gonna go down your drop down menu from it, whatever you had it to dynamics and then go to particles and create an emitter and uh, what you want to do now is to press the play button and allow some particles to be emitted. It doesn't have to be much, but you need to be able to just select the particles. If they're not being emitted, it's probably because you're in viewport 2.0 and they, for some reason, are not able to be seen. So you're just wanting, gonna want either just high quality or just leave it standard. And now you're going to select your object and then hold down the shift button and drag over the particles and then go back to particles and do instancer and you can see there's it made for each of the particles it made a bullet over on this side don't worry about it being over there instead of over here it should replay it should uh, emit over there like this oh hang on a sec but as you can see they're really big just like the original ones they're the same size actually so I'm going to make it as small as I want for the actual particles to be see now they're the exact same size but now they're emitting from the emitter so whatever size you make this that's what the particle size will be and this goes for scale and rotation so if I rotate this they will rotate the same way too you can turn them just like that and you can do this for just about any object you want and if you edit it they should do it too let me check that out yep they get I could make it red, I don't know, I could make it blue, green, whatever, but, alright guys, that's basically how you do it, you can do the same procedure for, for a sphere, for a cylinder, for just about anything. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.